11th and obviously final meeting between the Comets and the Sens. Kennets to Subban to the front tipped and that one hit the post. It was the newcomer Courier in front and that one nearly found its way in. Taken away here's Karina lifting on now and a chance to the front and it's left at the side of the net by Nathan Todd as he went for a deke on Kanata who hasn't had to make a save. He's in front. Obviously LeBate is in the box so that's where that comes into play. Here's Hensing right circle coming in tip to the front touched over what a save from Drieger on Grenier point blank. An incredible stop here as the Comets work the puck to the boards to the top for Subban over for Kennedy top of the right circle back to Subban one timer too high off the glass and a backhand Drieger made the save digging for it was Banks and just as the penalty expired to Lapine and the Comets lead in shots as Courier with a good hit on Buddy Robinson left side this one for Ronalds Kennedy's Marino trailing got it to him score Referee and then laid down for Verone. Verone finds a little space out of the top of the left circle, cruising in. Verone dishes off, and that's a great play by Pedon to knock down Bailey on what could have been a tap in back door. Bailey unhappy. To play on, Hensing will drop it to Fadoon. Into the zone goes Grenier. Fadoon's backhand over. What a save from Chris Drieger. That's an incredible stop by the Senators netminder. Now Brandon Marino, seven minutes on the clock in the first. They have changed the secondary assist on that goal, by the way. From Andre Padon to Carter Banks as Ryan Rupert shoots and scores. It's a tie game just like that on just the seventh shot of the game for Binghamton. Ryan Rupert was in. There were two defensemen back. John Negrin got caught in between, stepping up. They started with the Rochester Americans. Lots of moves made this year by Binghamton and Ottawa. Here's Brendan Gaunt's backhand that's redirected over top of the net. Curtis Falk back for Gaunt. Gaunt tried to flip it over for Sautner, broken up by Verone. Gaunt doesn't give up on it, steals it, shoots and scores! What an impressive goal from Brendan Gaunt. It'll be unassisted as he gives the Comets back the lead. In the Binghamton slot. Grenier will drag it in across into enemy territory. Left it for Hensick. Hensick to the front for Grenier right on. And a save from Drieger. Then for shot from the line. From Padon goes wide. And Sautner has to come back and get it out at center ice. Couple. Hensick near wall. Knocked off the puck. Zaleski a good hold for Valk. Valk to the slot. Delay shoots. And another impressive glove save from Chris Drieger. How many is he going to make today? Against the glass as Hensick came to get the puck. They'll try the far boards now as LeBate knocks the stick out of the hands of Trecapelli. And then a shot that's tipped to save a rebound. They score. Matt Pumple knocks it out of the air and in. And with 7.34 remaining, the Comets and Senators are tied at two. Well, Binghamton has been opportunistic today. It's probably been the last seven minutes. Here's a chance for Verone in front with a tip, a save, a rebound, they score! Casey Bailey knocks one in past a diving Kanata. Even though it was the center ice faceoff, the Comets went with six attackers. They can't get the puck in the zone. McCormick from an empty net, and he scores.